Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. For this slideshow tutorial, you can see I have already imported the 6 image files. Which I will be using in this demonstration, and I have also imported the 6 transitions. In the end of this video, I will show you how you can use different transitions and make your perfect slideshow. Now let's start with creating our first composition, here I will name it as slide 1. For this composition I will set time duration to 5 seconds, remaining everything will be the same. For this composition, from the project panel, let's add the image file to the timeline, you can scale your file if needed. Now pre-compose this layer, here I will name it as media1. Perfect. Here we will change this media composition to 3D. Now let's add the transition 1 media file to the timeline. Hide this layer. For media 1 composition, in effects and preset, search for gradient wipe. Add it to the media composition. Now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for transition completion. At start of the timeline, change transition completion value to 100%. Press U to view keyframes. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. You can see the preview. Here we will set gradient layer to transition 1. Perfect. Here we will set transition softness to 30%. You can see the preview. Now for this media composition. In effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the media composition. Set output width to 200. Set output height to 200. Select mirror edges. Perfect. Now we will create a new adjustment layer. Select the rectangle tool. Now you need to create mask for this adjustment layer exactly as shown. For mask 1, we will set mask feather value to 500 pixels. Now for the adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set blur radius to 600. Iteration to 1. Select repeat edge pixels. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the adjustment layer. Here I will set fill color to black. You can set this color according to your choice. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the text. For this text layer, I will be using Allura font family. Align the text layer to center. Increase font size. Perfect. Now let's animate the text layer. For text layer, in animate, select enable per character 3D. In animate, select tracking. In range select a 1, at 3 seconds, 
create keyframe for offset. Set offset to 100%. Now at start of the timer line, change offset to minus 100. In advanced, change based on two words. Change shape to ramp up. Easy low to 100%. Now let's add, property, position, set position to, 200, for Y and Z. Now add, property, opacity, set opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. We will place this layer at 1 second. For this text layer, add fill. Here you can set any color for your text layer, I will set it to white color. Now in effects and preset, search for drop shadow, add it to the text layer. Set opacity to, 100%. Set distance to, 20. Set softness to, 20. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera layer. Create null object. Change null to 3D, parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up the position. At 4 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, increase the position value for the z-axis as shown. Increase it up to 2000. Perfect. Now reduce the position value for y-axis to near about 200. You can see the preview. Now at end of the timer line, increase the position value for the y-axis as shown. Now reduce the position value for z-axis as shown. Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our slide 1 is created. Now let's see how to create multiple slides. Here you have two options. Create duplicate of this media 1 composition. And replace this image file with the already added image file in the composition. Or you can create separate or individual media compositions and add the image files. Here I will go with the first option, create duplicates of this media composition. Open this media composition, here you can see all the 6 compositions have the same image file. Now let's replace them with the other image file. Select media file you want to replace with, press Alt key, and drag it over to the media file. We will do the same for all the other media compositions. Perfect. Now close all the media composition. Now let's create 5 duplicates of the slide 1 composition. 
open all slide compositions. Now in this composition, we will replace this media file with the created media compositions. Select media file, press alt key and drag it over. Perfect. We will do the same for all other media files. Here you can see all slides are created. Here you can also replace this transition media file for each slide composition. We will do this at the end of this tutorial. But first we will replace all the text in each slide composition. Perfect. For this end composition, we will remove the end keyframe of the null layer. Now we will place this keyframe at the end. Perfect. Now let's create our final composition, name it as slideshow. Here I will set time duration to 22 seconds. You can set time duration according to the number of slides you have created. Here I will add all the 6 slides to the timeline. Here I will place this slide at a distance of 3 seconds and 15 frames from each other. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer, now adjust curves as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for trite tone. Add it to the adjustment layer. Here you can set the mid-tone color you want to set. Set blend with original to 80%. Now in effects and preset, search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set saturation to near about, 20. Vibrance to near about, 10. Now for this adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for brightness and contrast. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set brightness to, 2. Set contrast to, 5. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Here I have already provided you with all the 6 transitions, you can use them in each slide. Here in this preview, you can see I have used only one transition for all the slides. Now let's see how to use different transition for different slides. Open slide composition. Here we will replace this transition 1 with, transition 2. Perfect. You can do the same with all other compositions. Here you can also randomly use the transition to create different effects for your slideshow.
let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our parallax slideshow is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.